Okay. I, you know me as Tina Absher, however, my new and improved name is Tina Story, and I have played tennis with Debbie and Rick forever. In fact, I'm at Skagit Valley College now, and way down there where the courts used to be, where McIntyre Hall is now, we play, that's where I first met them, and there was a memory I have of playing down there, and it's, um, it, it has to do with pooing off court. and. They always, when they come and play, a lot of times they'd have to bring the two young, the two little boys with them. And they're probably, goodness, I think five, maybe five and six. And um, mommy, mommy, and it's always mommy, mommy, mommy. The younger one has to go potty. And so, okay, well, just bring him over there. And because there was a, a, a kind of a, a flower bed that wasn't, that had no bushes in it, it was just a, a, a dirt area next to the building school building and so yeah just take him over there and well it happened to be we glanced over there ah Debbie Debbie why is one of them helping the other one take all his clothes off oh Debbie Debbie I, I don't think it's a number one that they're doing over there and so that kind of interrupted the flow of the game a little bit as she had to go deal with the little boys making the flower bed a cat box so that's <laughs> we had fun we always had fun. So here I am. I am going to um, I'm going to demonstrate how I've been working really hard to learn the Debbie Hameter service return. Right? Okay. So here we go. Okay. Oh! Oh! oh I did it! Yes! Oh God, no. <laughs> well, I didn't even get, how do you do that? You gotta serve it decently. Oh God. <laughs> Is this really the way Debbie did it? Oh, can, can you step over the line before the ball gets to you? I don't think so. Oh, no, that didn't work. Okay. Oh, I almost hit the, I almost hit. No, I, I, I give up, Debbie. You need to give me a lesson. Hi, I'm Mo Stanton, and this is my bag check. First thing I'm going to show you, my tennis rackets. I got two. The reason for that is I got a lot of top spin, hit the ball really hard. I break strings, then I send them to Terry Williams, and that's how he makes his money. I have a water bottle. I have, I have Tums for that indigestion on the court when the nerves get to me. I've got this really cool hat. Check this out. It says, Go Mo Go. I got this th from the girls at the end of the tennis se season. Huh? Looks good. I got a tampon. I threw that in just to embarrass the boys in the crowd. I got, I got a muffin. Usually I have new go bars, but Bob ate all the new go bars and there weren't any, so I got to take a muffin. I got an ice pack. This is one that you smack, gets cold right off the bat. I got, I got sunscreen. I got sports cream rub. I got, I got some Advil. Wait a minute. This says pain relief PM. No wonder I'm getting tired on the court. I got, I got a meat mallet. This is to tenderize my opponents. And if that doesn't work, check this out. You're going to want one of these. This will subdue them. And I got, I got some new tennis balls. Got to have those. But these, these balls are really special. These are old tennis balls. I've had them for a long time. They say Debbie Hameter. These are from the time I played tennis with Debbie Hameter. She told me she loved me more than tennis. And last but not least, something really special. This says, love you more. Love you more than tennis, Debbie. Hi, I'm Bob Stanton, and this is going to be my bag check. It's going to be crazy. It's going to be fun. There's going to be cash prizes, drawings. Uh, the Dallas cheerleaders are going to be here. Book signings, giveaways. Uh, no, that's, that's a different thing. Uh, this is just going to be my bag check. That's right. Yeah. Well, first thing out of the bag got to be the tennis racket, I guess. So, um, Dunlops. I got two broken ones and one good one. You always wonder why does he take the broken ones? Well, I kind of have a temper, so <clears throat> as things go wrong, I can always reach in the bag, break the broken ones instead of the good one. So I'm still not as bad as Phil Cannon. Just saying. Okay, let's see what else we got in here. 
Uh, okay, tennis balls. Got to have your tennis balls, brand new balls. Not so good balls, not so good ball, not so good ball. Uh, headband. And, uh, oh, this, you probably wonder what this stands for. Strength and courage in Japanese. Um, oh, here we go. Gotta rally the boys, gotta rally the troops. Cowbell always comes in handy. We got here, oh, some sandals, just in case there's some beach tents going on. You never know, you gotta be prepared. That's what my dad said, always be prepared. Oh, this is good. So, uh, this is my little cheat sheet book when I'm working on, uh, gonna play somebody, I just go to my cheat sheet and see if, what their weaknesses are. So, for example, like this one, Dave Moreland, he's uh, ticklish around the ribs and the kneecaps. So, I'm on to you, Dave. I got you, man. Uh, okay, what else we got in here? Oh, this is what I was looking for, my real bag check uh, for Debbie Hammeter. And uh, anybody else out there, we'd sure use some help. Um, so if you could send in wherever you can, it'd be awesome. So love you, Debbie. And uh, I'm Bob Stanton. This is my bag check. Here I am, warming up for my match tonight. And I thought I'd show you my bag check. First of all, I've got the special sunglasses, old person sunglasses. Notice the sunglass panels on the side so that no sun comes in. So I've got to get prepared, but I'm going to need a, a little bit of help. I've got to get my knee wrap on first. Then I've got my special thigh wrap for all my pulled hamstrings. That helps. Special extra large wristband, Burlington Colors. I've got tape so I can tape up my fingers like Rafa because of all the spin that I hit. Oh, and I'm gonna need my I'm gonna need my elbow wrap, right? For my tennis elbow. I've got then the special other knee wrap. Right. I need that. Um, I've got these special tight compression shorts. Eileen likes me to wear these around the house. <laughs> oh, and then I've got the extra long special ace bandage. This, you can wrap almost your entire body with a couple of these, which is what I normally have to do. And just in case, I've got the instant cold compress. I've got those. Oh. Don't forget the special cool heat, I don't know if it's cold or hot, but cool heat lotion for, for the injuries. Oh, oh, and I, I will need a racket. I've got these special rackets, or so I thought. Bob Stanton gave them to me, and, and I kind of know why he did that now, because I can't play crap with these rackets. So I thought I would get a new racket and try out a new racket. Here it is. This is the extra, extra long, extra big racket. So I'll try that one out here today. Here we go. Oh yeah, that's it. That's the ticket. Hang in there, Debbie. Keep swinging. Hi, I'm Eileen and this is Rascal. And this is our bag check. We don't play a lot of tennis, but we do a lot of walking and exploring on Samish Island. So here it is. Here's our Petapalooza backpack that we use when we walk. On Samish Island, our motto is, be safe, be seen. So we have our vest that we wear. Come on, sweetie, get your vest on. Always put your vest on your friend before you put your own on. Come on, Rask. <laughs> yeah, we like to be seen when we walk. Yeah, come here, sweetie. Sit. Oh, good boy, good boy. So, a couple other things that we take with us. We take our pepper spray in case we see any big dogs or any bears or anything, so we can take care of ourselves. Is there a lot of bears on Samish Island? Mm -hmm. Quite a few. Oh, okay. Yeah, good. I've seen them. Good to know. We take our pooper sacks to keep the island neat and clean. Is that for you or Rascal? That's for Rascal. Oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, okay. Rascal, sit. 
Good boy, good boy. We also, in case it starts to rain or snow like this morning, we like to have our hats to wear to protect ourselves from inclement weather, don't we? Yeah, very nice, very, very nice. There's mine. Then, we also like to have a nice expandable leash so that we don't have to zip side by side all the time. And then we like to stop at the nice bench down by the lake or at the beach, and we like to have our favorite snack, don't we, Rascal? So we have our water to go with it, and I like a nice Luna bar. And Rascal... Keep your hat on, Rascal. Keep your hat on. It snowed this morning, remember? And I like a nice Luna bar. Rascal likes a nice green. And Rascal, my partner in crime, I love you more than tennis. Hi, Debbie and Hi, Rick. Hi, Debbie and Rick. We're down in Phoenix. Can't be with you tonight. We wish we could. But you're in our hearts, and we are praying for you. We love you. And this is our new signature shot. Couch lobbing. Yes. Hi, this is Stephanie, and I'm here with my bag check. So, on a regular tennis day, this is what I'd have in my bag. We've got some band-aids, some insoles, the cards when there's too many of us on the court at one time and we gotta draw to see who gets to play with who. A receipt from Terry Williams. A nice tennis towel. Some tennis balls. A headband. The racket I play with most of the time. The racket I play with when I actually play pretty good, which isn't very often. And the racket I haven't quite figured out how to use yet. Some paint stick, some socks, and an extra grip. And that's what's in my bag. Hi, it's Donna. You want to see what's in my bag? You never know what you might find. So, I have super awesome flip flops. SpongeBob tennis racket. A helmet, just in case. Balls that are big enough that I can actually hit them. A band for working out. Paper and pen, so I can write down the score because I can never remember what it is. Some boxing gloves, because you never know when Tanya might get in a fight and I need to back her up. And last but not least, WD-40 so me and Tanya can squeak out a win. Love you, Debbie. Hi, Pam Carl here. I know you're dying to see what's in my bag. This is bag check. Of course, I've got a couple of rackets. Wilson, love my rackets. I've got a towel. This one is Indian Wells. Tennis Gardens towel. I always put it on the bench at the court. And in case I'm wearing a white skirt, don't want to get your white skirt all dusty. I've got some balls. I've got a can of Babolat and a can of pen. I have some particular friends who will only play with Babolat, so I did carry around a can of Babolat, as well as pen balls for all the other people who will play with any ball. I have a little bag in here of incidentals, all kinds of stuff in here. I've got uh, overgrip for my rackets. I've got some hand sanitizer. I have some tape for my thumb. You get these splits in your thumb because it's so dry down here and they hurt. So, whoops, that helps. And um, a lot of other stuff in here that, uh, boy, some interesting things that maybe I won't even show you. Uh, yeah, oh, I've got some electrolytes to put in my water in case I'm uh, running out of steam. I also have some tissue and some 
ooh, some emery boards, very necessary, some chapstick, and a hair tie. All very necessary things. My bag is new. I don't have much in it now because I just switched it over, which is good because you wouldn't have wanted to see what was in the last one. So that's my bag check. And for Debbie, girl, hang in there. We love you. You have a great, wonderful group of tennis buddies, a wonderful community of friends. Um, I've experienced this myself. They're all just wonderful, beautiful people. We're all here to support you. We love you. And um, I'm sorry I can't be there, but I'm thinking about you sending you prayers and hugs, and I love you more than tennis. Hi, I'm Tanya, and this is my bag check. This is called the Intimidator because they think you're good when you have six rackets in your bag, but I don't. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah, let's see what's in the bag. I hope I have a racket. I do. I have, actually I have three. That's more than some. These two are the same, and that's because sometimes I break rackets, so I might need one. This one's a little heavier, so when I tend to overswing, it's a little, takes a little bit more time. So, that's my reasoning. And, oh, I still have my Resilient Fitness USTA manual from Whitlock Johnson, 2012. So Debbie might have been on that team. I don't have a record, so sorry about that. And let's see, tennis balls used, of course. Um, oh, and she who loves tennis, this would be for my good friend Mo, because she wants me to keep my beverage cold while I'm out on the court. And I have this really, really fancy thing in here. Gloves for when I play tennis with Terry Williams on Thanksgiving and it's really cold. Actually, I only brought him one and me two, so that's good. And I'm trying to find my, I have this really unique little tool. Oh, yeah. This <laughs> is for practicing your surrey, <laughs> or when your opponent's beating you really bad, slap them. <laughs> and this is my lucky charm. And this happens to be from my good friend Mo, and on it it says, I love you more than tennis. I love you more than tennis, Debbie. Hi Debbie. Hi Debbie. Hi Debbie. <laughs> so these are my second and third favorite partners. My first favorite partner I haven't played with for like 10 years, but anyway. Is that me? Well, <laughs> you're there too, Mo. So I got like three seconds and one first. Debbie, I remember our doubles at Nordstrom's like 12 years ago, and hopefully we can play doubles again soon together. That'd be awesome. Okay, your turn, Mary. We love you, Debbie. We're all praying for you. We love you. Yeah, we love you. We miss you on the court, and we miss seeing your face every day. That's right. Best wishes. <laughs>